It's a rainy day at this Roma residential site in the northern outskirts of Ghent. But it's not the weather that concerns people here, but integrating into ordinary life, making ends meet. Set up with funding from the city of Ghent, the centre is run by the NGO Caritas. The people um, who lived in the slums before, eh, they, they are here now, uh, and that the city is not tolerating anymore that uh, more slums uh, are built. That's very clear for the city that they don't, they don't want this because it's inhuman, they don't want this uh, situation anymore. Mario and Roxana live here with their children and 70 others. They share these kitchens and bathrooms. Their children have access to playgroups and cooking classes, local schools too. Having a proper address makes life easier. This is a good thing for me and my family. I came here to work, to be stable and to go forward. But Mario has to find a job soon and a roof for his family. After three years, um, people will be directed towards um, regular the regular housing market um, or they will find uh, other housing solutions which can be uh, here in Belgium or can be in the country of origins if um, they are not able to uh, integrate here in Belgium. Meanwhile, in the European Parliament in Strasbourg, MEPs debated this week how Europe still has a long way to go to achieve real equality for Roma. 80% live in poverty because of their inherent ethnicity. The EU has the power to enable an equality in anti-gypsy law for my people. The European Parliament already took the first step in September 2020. NGOs want EU member states to implement their national Roma strategies that they signed up to. Even more urgent now as many Ukrainian Roma flee war and need support from Europe. Maeve McMahon, Euronews, Ghent.